Boys and girls, it's that time again. It's time for Online Kids Church. Maybe you're here with us at St. Mark's joining us in person. Our lesson today is about some creepy, crawly, scary things. <gasps> it's spiders. So the lesson is called, What a Tangled Web We Weave. And the verse for the day is Proverbs 12 verse 22. And it says, the Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in those who tell the truth. So what does detest mean? It means he really can't stand lying, but his heart rejoices when we tell the truth. So let's talk about these little hairy creatures, spiders. They are stuff out of nightmares and horror movies, but they also can be really super amazing. Of course, because they are part of God's indescribable design. Spiders are hunters. Most spiders eat insects, but fishing spiders eat fish. Well, of course, that makes sense. <laughs> Huntsman spiders, which can have a horrifying 12-inch leg span, that means they are massive, they trap frogs and lizards. And some of the world's biggest spiders even can catch birds and bats in their massive webs. All spiders make silk, but not all spiders use it to spin webs. Silk can also protect the spider's eggs. It helps the spiders move, and it can also provide shelter for the spiders. Web spinning spiders use silk to create elaborate traps to catch their dinner. Because the webs are nearly invisible, insects just fly into the webs and they get trapped in the sticky threads. I'm sure you've all seen a spider's web before with a few little flies and insects stuck in there. When an insect gets trapped in the web, the spider feels the vibration of the insect's struggles as they try to get away, and then it hurries to go and wrap up the bug in more of its silk threads. Because it can't eat solid food, the spider first injects its prey with special digestive juices, and this turns the prey into more of a liquidy mush for the spider to suck it up. <laughs> sort of the spider's version of a milkshake. Yucky! So a spider's web is sticky and deadly, and it's a lot like the trap of lying. The first time when you lie, you spin a small little web. It's almost invisible, so no one will even see it, and no one would even think that it could cause any problems. But sometimes, when you start spinning that little lie, you have to cover up that little lie. So then you tell another little lie, and that then becomes a little bit of a bigger web. And then what happens is you have to tell so many little lies to try and cover up that first little lie that you end up with this big, massive web. You can't remember when you told the truth and when you told a lie, and it can really make you feel like you are getting stuck in this web of lies. Soon you are surrounded and the one who ends up getting trapped and tangled in the web, who do you think that is? It's you. So the lesson for today is don't even start spinning a web of lies. Rather, tell the truth and keep yourself out of those sticky situations because the Bible says that the Lord doesn't like it when we lie but his heart rejoices when we tell the truth. So sometimes even when it's difficult, just remember it might seem difficult, but it's always the right decision to do the right thing and tell the truth. So let us pray today. God, sometimes it seems easier to tell a lie, like when I don't want to get into trouble, but please give me the courage and the strength to always tell the truth, because your word says that that is what makes you happy with me. And that is what I want to do. I want to please you. Amen. So our fun fact today is of course about spiders. Not all spiders catch their meals with their spinning webs. The wolf spider actually stalks its prey and he catches it. Jumping spiders move fast and they've got very, very good eyesight. Can you guess how they catch their prey? That's right, they jump on it. So I hope 
hope you haven't got too much of the hibbity-jibbities today talking about spiders, but I do hope that you remember when you see a spider's web, that you remember not just how amazing God has made earth and the creation and spiders, how they spin these beautiful webs, but how a web can also be a reminder of how dangerous it can be to tell lies instead of the truth. We always want to do what is right because we know that that's what pleases the Lord. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and we'll see you next time. Bye.